Welcome to Cook, Serve, Delicious 2 and my continuing attempts to do all the Chef for Hire events at all the restaurants and get a medal each time, preferably gold. Last time around I think I did a shift at Slammy's and got a gold medal there. This time around I'm going to Sub Solutions and I think the last time I did Sub Solutions I got a silver medal there and I went back on my own time and eventually it took a few attempts got gold because I'm not good at these. This time around is shift number four which has sandwiches, soup, breakfast, biscuits and salads. I can mess up the sandwiches, that's normally where I'll go wrong. Also has potato salads, fruits and cookies as a side, soda as a drink, 45% buzz and six serving stations. As with most restaurants I should be able to get gold on the first about five shifts. After that it can be a bit hit and miss. So, I should be able to get a gold on this one. It should just be reasonable to do such a, such a thing. Of course, it, you know, assuming the usual I don't fat finger something, my brain doesn't go into meltdown and forget how to which keys to press. All the usual provisos. Just like my brain went into a I've forgotten what I'm doing mode there for a second with that salad. But I tend to find myself disappointed if I don't get goals in at least the first five shifts. Yes, as I say, there will be the occasional, you know, fat finger mistake or just plain stupidity. But it's definitely within the realms of my capabilities. So I tend to get annoyed with myself if I don't get golds. But after, from shift six onwards, depending on the restaurant, then I'm less annoyed when I don't do as well as I, I can. Oh, okay, that's never good when you hit the wrong key. Bacon, roast beef, provolone, and white bread. All right. Oh, I wish all salads were that easy. I do like the way it does that. The first of those breakfast sandwiches was a ham, egg and a, bis and a biscuit top. The second one was a ham, egg and a croissant top. And if you're not paying attention, then because the second one is only one, one slight difference, it can catch you out. They do, does that with a, this game does that with a lot of foods. Same, same food, or basically the same food twice with just one difference. Oh, wrong thing. I didn't mean to select that. Okay, we're having a go mad on the chores moment, are we? 
Don't scare me, I can deal with your chores. Can't necessarily deal with your salads, but I can deal with your chores. And I'm going to run out of soup. And I messed that soup up, which is never great. Crouton, mushroom, tomato, and cucumber. Yes, we'll serve you too. Calvin Island, cheese, crouton, and tomato. Ranch, cheese, egg, crouton, mushroom, tomato, and fried chicken. Salami, Swiss, lettuce, tomato, onions, more onions, rosemary bread. I like that one. Meatball, cheese, and rosemary bread. That's a nice, easy sandwich to serve. Cheese, crouton, and tomatoes. Oh, yeah, I've still got a, a little while to go before the end of the day. I thought I was getting real close to the end of the day there. The amount of stuff I'd served. But apparently I was mistaken. And why is Santa Claus in my restaurant? There goes Santa. Yeah, now the day's ended. That seemed like a longer than normal day. Don't know why it seemed like a longer than normal day. It just did. And why that guy who ordered a salad is beyond me. Am I to get my perfect day? And my gold medal? Oh, okay, that's a very nice restaurant table. Stylishly designed. Okay, that's the only thing I unlocked. I was expecting more. I thought there'd be more. Well, in that case, let's go read the email. Today's fortune. Your fortune for today is, you put your left sock on upside down this morning. As a result, the meeting of your destined true love, which was originally to occur today, will take place in 11 and a half years. Ah, oh, shucks. How'd you put a sock on upside down? Inside out, yes, but upside down. Actually, I did see an advert. I can't remember where I saw it. Some channel I was flipping through. There's a thing for helping you put your socks on now. You put this thing over a device. Then you slide your leg into the device. and So if you don't have to bend over so far. I didn't really get into the technicalities of how it worked. It was just, I'd never thought of something that helps you put your socks on. Amazing what the world will invent. Okay. Well, that was sub-solutions shift number four. Just out of curiosity, what shift number five looked like. Yeah. Kind of like this one, apart from without the soup. And more sandwiches. Which is possibly what can cause me to mess up. But that will be for the future. Okay, I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I will see you down the road for more Chef for Hire events in Cook, Serve, Delicious 2. Cheerio!